a nation without a vision. Call a six-year-old American and ask him, what does America stand for? He'll tell you. Six years old. He'll tell you. Most other countries, ask them. They'll be surprised that you're asking. Because there wasn't supposed to be. They don't know there's supposed to be an answer. Because most nations have an education and educational system delivered to them from somewhere. They don't know why their curriculum is the way it is. And it's amazing that most of the managers of those educational curricula studied abroad. And they came back and refused to change things. In almost every nation, they are reading what they're not supposed to be reading. They are in school on learning the truth. Being miseducated. And they wonder why their economies are the way they are. I feel sorry for them. It is a darkness. A wandering around in the wrong place. In darkness. And they expect to come out miraculously. This is madness. Until there's a new type of education in our schools. You continue to reproduce the wrong people who get worse and worse and worse and worse. Uh, now that I'm talking, I know that there are many of you here who are into some form of politics or education. I hope you are hearing me. And I hope that one day you will call for a change of the educational system and curriculum. The content is where the problem is. They think it's, you know, they're too busy. Most of the leaders are too busy doing all the wrong things that they don't have time to reconstruct an education that has a destination. What is the destination of this curriculum? What is it supposed to produce? They've never asked themselves. Every nation that has revisited its educational system and content has transformed its economy. Go and check. Go and check. Japan had to do it. China had to do it. There are many others. They realized where their problem was. And they went back to the roots. So it's from where we are producing our leaders. And we start from where we take them into school. Now let us change, reconstruct our educational system, particularly the content. Let it have a destination. At the end of studying this or this or this, what is this person supposed to know? What is he supposed to become? What should he be able to do? We've never asked those questions. The first thing we think about is we want him to know what those other people know and compete with them. Compete. Crazy. It doesn't start with competition. If you know what you're supposed to know and you are what you're supposed to be, no one could ever compete with you. So we think we need to train them to be competitive. Over what? Over what? Answer me. You are in Cameroon. You are being trained to compete with those in France. Isn't that crazy? The things you need to change are in Cameroon. And if you are exemplary in Cameroon, the world will ask for you. But you are being trained so you can be competitive with the, with the, with the French. And the Nigerian is being trained so he can be competitive with the English-speaking world. It's just madness. Competitive. Then you become competitive in speaking the language. Hmm? Competitive in their economic system. And you don't know what to do with yours. So you come back and try to implement what they did in their country that didn't have the same type of problems. You're trying to use stomach pain prescription for headaches.
think. So those of you who can do something about it, do it. You know, as a minister of God, I'm supposed to love all political parties, all candidates, because they are all children of God. So I have to love every one of them. You see. So, um, I'm not into, I have no favors of parties. So I don't discuss parties. But what I say to you is, if you have the opportunity, and this is something you can, you can accommodate, use it. Amen? Amen. Use it.